Hi everyone! Welcome to Color Conversations with Crawford Street. I'm Tanner. It's so nice to be here. Um, so we are right now in this historic color collection within Sherwin-Williams called the Roycroft collection and we have chosen our six favorites um, and we are going through them and uh, they work beautifully as their own kind of historic palette um, but they're also great uh, you can just pull one, you know, uh, into a, an existing palette already or one as your inspiration color and then you can, you know, go outside of this palette. Um, but collectively, they do work uh, really well together. Several of them partner really well. Um, and we actually uh, had a historic project that we got to um, be involved with that used a lot of these colors. And so... Um, we're gonna jump right into one of those that we got to actually use, and that is Sherwin Williams 2846 Roycroft Bronze Green. It's so awesome, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's so wonderful. Like, okay, we're we're in a historic collection, so again, everything we're talking about already has that like um maturity to it you know it's almost like it's got you know um just something that alludes to i've been here for a long time um whether that's kind of like oh it alludes to a weathered finish or it alludes to um you know something from way back then or or a certain time period whatever that you know may be uh these historic colors are great for showcasing um, homes from that period, interior and exterior. Um, so if, you know, if you actually happen to, to be in a historic home, in a home that is historic inspired, or if you're talking about, um, you know, the interior and you have a, an antique piece, and so you really want to, you know, pay respect to its time period, um, you know, that's why, again, finding a historic color is already going to kind of guarantee you that it's going to feel appropriate with that overall theme you're trying to go um, to go for. And, you know, a lot of historic homes have detail, so much detail, and that's probably what makes them stand out the most from just regular homes that have been built over the last 20 years especially, you know, the last 40 years. But the craftsmanship of historic homes was impeccable. It was beautiful. It showed off what someone could do, right? Um, and so, so if you have great trim detail on your exterior and you can go deep because let's say this, in a normal, in a normal uh, exterior, if you're thinking about, you know, what are your proportions? Um, you know, is it, I have 80% siding and about 20% trim. Then you have to know when you're looking at color, you have to know to look in that scale proportionately. So if you have 40% uh, brick and 30% siding and 10% trim, you don't have a lot of trim, you have to be looking at your color, not only with that brick and with your roof and, the, and you know your surroundings, but also proportionately. So in, in historic homes, when you're talking about porches that wrapped around and detail that's, you know, trim work that is 12 inches thick, you know, then, then even if all you have is siding, and no brick or stone or anything else, your siding and trim ratio looks a lot different than a home from, you know, the last 40 years. So, you know, it's probably gonna be like 60% siding and, you know, 30% trim. And then maybe 10% is accents of a front door or the porch, you know, ceiling. But you see how, the ratio of siding to trim now becomes the same. So you can go deeper in one of your colors um, and, and, and not 
take away um, or not be too dramatic, you know, because this might seem too deep for an exterior of a home that's not historic um, or that doesn't have a lot of trim. Um, but when you pair it with, you know, such a bigger scale of trim, you can totally go deep and it's still, it's still going to give a light, you know, nice, um, crisp feel because your trim is going to be what stands out. And then on the other hand, if you have your, a historic home and your, your trim and siding is, you know, like we're talking about the, the proportions are almost equal. If you have a white siding, your trim then is going to make such a big statement, such a bigger statement than a trim that's only 10% of your overall palette, right? So again, if you're looking for colors that work well with historic homes, historic pieces, historic styles, whatever, this is, is a color that is beautiful it's so deep and rich it is it is so lovely we have done some um several reviews actually on some cooler deep greens this is not that this is you know bronze green and emphasis on the bronze it is so nice it now it's not orange in any way it is just a natural warm deep green and it's so cool because it's still so modern and relevant today for the whole like moody deep tones that are you know so in right now this is just a great 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 color for that so if you know your your one of your main priorities for in the color that you're looking for is that I have a historic home or I have a historic piece or I'm going for a historic vibe here um, then then this is already going to check that off of your list right um if you want it to be deep and and moody then check um if you want it to also be natural and and play well with things then yes it's green right so it's going to play with any landscaping any you know if you have a lot of potted plants and things it's beautiful so um but other things that it's going to play well with is brassy hardware and bronze copper ooh, copper gutters and things like that so this is going to pull warm elements so nicely um but let me just also say it's not it is not um to be shied away from if you have gray it, it, it it's not too warm in fact if you had a color palette of gray and white it still totally goes and if anything can just help pull your gray to a more warmy stone gray versus a a cooler you know flatter industrial or whatever gray um so if you have gray floors and you're like well then will a warm green go with that yes and you can see that it's actually strong enough because of its depth um and because it it demands attention in in its color you know i mean it's it's green and that's obvious so it's it's strong and powerful enough to be the one that dictates how the other colors are perceived. So even if you have gray, this green is gonna help it, the bronze green is gonna help it, um, you know, lighten up, warm up and feel appropriate, which is really nice, again, if you have an antique piece in there, because you, you in many cases, have warm woods, um, or like, again, brassy hardware, um, you know, that would allude to, to, to the older, you know, pastimes are all going to feel so, so beautiful with this. Um, and, and let's just talk about, okay, so now let's back it on up. Like if you're here and you don't have a historic house or a historic piece, you're like, I just kind of was interested in this color. Welcome back to now for you. So the great thing about this color is I just spent a long time talking about why it is historic enough to have already an elegantness to it, a maturity to it, um, a luxness quality to it. So it's already elevated. Like it's already going to feel leveled up in your space or for your space, you know, um, or for your piece, whatever. So, but 
like we talked about, it's so moody and deep and like just beckons you to get closer and be like, what color is it? You know, um, it is so relevant for today. And even um, the more blonde ashier woods or the white oaks, those are going to feel so nice with this color. I, I, I just really, I invite you to check it out. Um, if you're just kind of on the fence about it, go get a sample or reach out to us and we'll send you one of these big ones. Um, it's a beautiful color. So again, it is so relevant for today, but, but the, the, the great thing about color is that it's color itself is one thing. And that is only one part of how your color is perceived, right? The other things are what's around it, what surrounds it, what partners with it, what clashes with it, what enhances it, what takes away from it, what accents it like we did, you know, a color changes based on what's around it, right? But also color and especially the, the vibe that color gives off changes depending on the application, okay? So you can do this historic color in a very modern way. So say you have a dining room, do your base molding, your walls, your crown molding, all in a color or do the ceiling all in this color. Do the whole room in the color. Do in your house just your doors and door trims in a, in this color. You know what I mean? Just the doors and the door trims. Leave your window trim white or, or whatever your mat the mat the rest of it is. Leave all your baseboards right um you know trim color and your crown molding normal but just do this for doors or just pull this onto your cabinetry. It is such a beautiful, historic-esque color, but again, how you use it could make it so modern. Um, so can you tell we love this color? Um, we actually did it on an accent wall in this room and it was an office. And so nowadays, you know, in the last couple of years, how important have home offices offices become clearly people are doing zooms and videos and and you know we they're literally having in design we do it all the time we are having to consider a zoom backdrop for every office client that we build so we were like how do we make this beautiful and and rich and nice and elegant you know in in but but also kind of moody and this was a beautiful accent wall. So if, if you're wanting your space to feel a little, um, professional, uh, this is still going to do that. Like it's, it's a beautiful color. It is a beautiful color. So if this sounds like, Hey, that is exactly what my project needs. Um, then like I said, go check it out again. It is two, eight, four, six Roycroft bronze green. The LRV is nine. So it's dark. Um, but you know, you could see that it still leaves plenty of space for black and deep bronzes and things like that to, to stand out against it. Um, let's also talk about the fact that because there is a bronze undertone, whether it's in the natural light directly, let's see if I can get some good, like straight on natural light. Maybe not. Uh, there we go. Um, whether you, whether you have like straight on natural light, if you're talking about your exterior or, you know, a room that has a lot of windows, um, or man-made light, it is going to, you see, it is going to pick up all of those bronze undertones, um, completely in light, man-made or natural light. It is going to pick up the richness of the bronze, depending on how much light it shines on. So if this is an accent wall and you want those bronze undertones to show up, put this in the light. If this is, um, if you're going to have a great light fixture, it, it, what does the, the light in the light fixture do? Does it shine up? Does it shine down? Does it shine out and make a neat pattern? So then where would you want this to be? Ceiling, wall, on a piece, on the lower part of your wall, on some trim work, you know? So again, color is so important, but how you apply the color and what's around it is also so important. So if you guys need help with you know, not just nailing down a color, but maybe, um, you know, picking out what goes with it. Or if, if you're to the point and you have 
a lot of components already in your room, sometimes that can be great because it tells you which way you should go with color, but kind of, sometimes that can be overwhelming and daunting because then you're like, well, I can't do this because I have this. I can't go this way because I have this. And it feels like your path narrows and narrows. That's where we would love to help you guys find that path um, that's right for you. So reach out, Crawford Street Designs at Gmail, or um, we're on social media at Crawford Street Designs, um, or you can just comment on here. Uh, and if you wanna see projects with this color, let us know. Um, if you're thinking about using it and just really want a friend to say, uh, yeah, go for it. I think that's going to be great. Or maybe go a little more gray for your piece or maybe go a little more bronze for your area. We'd love to help you. Um, and if you have done a project with this and you want to share it with us, please do. We, we love color and we love seeing what it does for spaces. Um, so I hope that this helps you guys in your color designing adventures. And if you wanna have more color conversations, then subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye guys.